more case in point for the dog grooming business. What's going on, World Wide Web? This is James, over at Drawing Customers. And we got some more case in point for the dog grooming business. Now we touched on, hey, this is dog grooming business. It's in some small town, only 2,000 people, and they're struggling a little bit because they weren't charging very much for their business. And the amount of dogs and cats that they had to actually groom in the close regional neighborhood was, uh, it wasn't that much. So even if every pet in the world that was within, say, 20 miles came to them, they, uh, they weren't going to make it. So we helped them. We got them to bump up their services. That means they bumped up their prices. That means people are coming from farther distance to get their dog to enjoy them. But we still got to throw in some add-ons, right? Add-ons are where you can make some quick extra money from people that are already in your business. So uh, it's why when you go into a retail store, whatever it is that you bought, you're standing in line at the checkout counter, and you got your batteries, your gum, your candy bars, your soda pops, whatever you got rolling on there, those are add-on purchases. They got high margins, which is great, and they're uh, quick and convenient. Hey, I'm already here. How long does it take to grab a candy bar and throw it on that little register? Boom, quick, easy. So cool thing is, learning from those retail establishments, we can do the same thing with dog grooming. However, they don't have to be as quick, you know? You can have like simple treats, right? You got uh, Fifi the Mutt, and a good girl. So we got some treats for Fifi. Those are good, high margin items. But uh, we're looking for something a little bit more. Something to set you apart. Let's just say that you have a play area for this, these uh, pets, right? And let's say that you charge by the, uh, I don't know, should we charge by the hour? So you got this, uh, you got this pretty dog, right? This dog is all prettied up and all fancy. You don't want that pretty dog to go in and play with a bunch of other dogs and get all dug up and dirty right away. But you also don't want that dog to be all psycho and crazy when you're driving that dog home. So what if you set it up so that that dog can go at that play area for just a quick hour, bounce around, play with some friends, and then get cleaned up, get all pretty. And Fifi the Mutt on the way home is calm, relaxed, smelling good, and holy cow, this is the perfect pet. She's like an angel. I love her. So, uh, you know, you charge by the hour, you get a little extra coin with your dog grooming business because you offered this play area for people that bring their dog from far away. That's fantastic. That's great. Let's, uh, let's take it a step further. Let's just say we have some training. I don't know what day people are going to be most likely to bring their dog grooming or their dogs to the dog grooming place. Let's just say uh, Saturdays, right? Saturday afternoon, there's a pet training person that comes here and will offer pet training. So you get this play area, you get your pet training, same thing, boom, by the hour. And uh, then you get this. So this will actually help people actually bring them. Maybe they're going to bring Fifi the Mutt every week, every month. Hey man, Fifi the Mutt, she gets trained, she gets to play, and when she's all done, holy cow, she's the coolest, calmest, quietest, most well-behaved dog I could ever imagine. She's the envy of my neighborhood. When I go walking with that dog and she's got that loose leash, and the other dogs are just going cycle because they're, you know, not very well trained and uh, the owners are crazy, I'm like, hey, you gotta, you gotta take your dog to this dog grooming place. It's, it makes a world of difference. I have the best dog in the world you should check it out and you can have the second best dog in the world. So we got some training, we got some play area, we got some treats, we're gonna say like treats slash clothes because there's a lot of crazy people, my wife included, they like to dress up their dog. It's, uh, it's semi-cruel in my, in my uh, thought process but uh, in the end the dog looks cute, right? You need to update your social media with something. Dog and cat, they just, they get a lot of likes, what are you gonna do? So, this is just a suggestion. Maybe they got space for this, maybe they don't. Hopefully they do. The training, you can have someone, an outside trainer. Maybe the groomer isn't really good at training. Maybe they are, who knows. But they work with an outside trainer. That outside trainer is gonna know other people with pets. And uh, you both can get your business rolling by uh, spreading and sharing the pool of customers and clients that you have. So this is James, over at Drawing Customers, with another case in point in regards to dog grooming, dog grooming in a small town. Thanks.